All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Vue 3 application. And in this video, we'll be working on adding validations for the settings page. So let's get started. So let me head over to settings controller.psv file. And over here on the update method, let's do settings. And we want to validate using request validate. And for the app name, uh, it should be required required and it should be string okay and for date format let's do the same required should be string and for pagination limit uh, it is required and it should be integer and let's say for minimum it should be one and for maximum it should be hundred okay now let's remove this and from here let's do settings validated now let's try this if i enter let's say dd then we are not getting any success message let me go to network tab and let me try this again click on save and we are getting the error message for the validations right it is saying that the pagination limit must be an integer which is perfect now the thing is to show this on the front end over here we need to show the validation message right so let me head over to update settings dot view file over here which is inside of resources js pages settings and let me go to the update settings method over here and let's catch the exceptions using catch method and we'll catch the error and inside the catch block let's say if we have error response and on that response let's do error response status is 422 uh, it means the validation error if we have validation error then let's set the errors dot value to error dot response dot data dot errors and we haven't defined this errors state so let's define that and let's make it reactive errors ref and inside this let's pass nothing now to show that message uh, let me go over here uh, below this input tag let's add span tag let's display the errors using errors dot app name and we want to get the first one but we need to add conditional as well so let's do if we have errors and if we have errors for app name and then we'll display the error message right so let's try this let me remove this and click on save changes and we are getting that message the app name field is required which is perfect but if we were not using the zero index over here then we'll get that as array right so we need to get the first message let's add class as well and let's say text danger and let's make the text little smaller and this is perfect right so now let's do the same for other input as well so after this select input let's add that error message and for app name instead of app name let's say date format let's do the same for pagination limit pagination limit okay let me close this let me click on save changes now we are getting the validation message which is perfect if we enter let's say 800 click on save changes and it is saying the pagination limit must not be greater than 100 which is perfect now let me do 10 and click on save changes then it is not saving let me go over network tab click on save changes and we are getting 500 error and it is saying call to memory function validate on array so let me go to settings controller over here and we don't need to call this validate met validated method uh, we need to call this method on the request object right but here this is already running array so we don't need to call that validated method so let me try this again click on save changes 
and we are getting that message now here the error is not being cleared so if i click on save changes these changes are saved but our error is still there remaining so let's clear that error uh, from our update settings.view file uh, while we're updating the settings first of all let's uh, set the errors value to empty string okay now if i click on save changes we get this validation message but if our data is valid and click on save changes then this is removed and we get the success message which is perfect so this much for this video and i hope this video is helpful for you and in the next video i will show you how we can use those settings throughout our applications because currently we are just saving records in our database so it will be better if we show the results based on this pagination limit uh, here currently 10 over here in our user listing page right currently it is showing 15 but it will be great if you use that settings value uh, similarly we can use the date format uh, if we are changing date format over here then it will be great if we saw uh, those date format reflected over here so in the next video we'll be doing that exact thing so make sure to like share and subscribe to this channel and till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one